Two local elementary students getting sick at school by a growing trend. Marijuana edibles being brought to school. Earlier this month in the Flint area, a mom was charged after her child shared homemade gummies and more than a dozen kindergartners got sick. Well, now two children have gotten sick from gummies at Grand River Academy in Livonia, the same school where students served tequila last month. And now officials tell 7 Action News reporter Kiara Hay it may be time for charges. Twice in three weeks, it's been incidents here at Grand River Academy where a child has brought in either drugs or alcohol and given them to other students at the school. But it's not just happening here in Livonia, it's happening across Metro Detroit. Crystal Morton says it was 8.30 Monday morning when her 11-year-old son, Kamari, was offered a piece of candy by another fifth grader at Grand River Academy. Grabbed the candy and ate it, and within the half an hour, he was sick. Morton says her son was given a marijuana gummy and rushed to the ER after feeling disoriented and woozy. I was terrified. I don't do those, you know, you like, I'm scared of them. So just to know that my little child, 11, has this in his system is very scary. Three weeks earlier, a similar situation at the same school. They said that my daughter had liquor. Dominic Xander says her daughter was one of four kindergartners at Grand River Academy who was given a shot of Jose Cuervo margarita mix during lunch just last month. If it's consistently happening at schools, at this school, then it's not. Is not okay. Something is wrong. A spokesperson from Grand River sent a statement saying, quote, since we had two recent instances where children brought banned substances to school, we are taking a look at changes we may need to make to ensure this doesn't happen again. But it's not just a problem in Livonia. Southfield police are also investigating an incident where several middle schoolers were given THC laced edibles. And in Genesee County, it was kindergartners who ate candy, not knowing it had marijuana in it. So who should be held responsible? Parents or the school? That school should have a responsibility, but they should not be held at fault. Donna Thornton, a former principal in Detroit, says the school should be responsible for following up with consequences, but... There's no way to determine whether a cookie has cannabis in it or not. Kiara Hay, 7 Action News.